All right, everybody, welcome back to Xeon Zone. Today, I finally got a nice little uh, surprise for everybody to see. It is the Wii Big Bird Toucan or MMP uh, MMP9. You know, there's a Model 40 in the 9, so we got the 9 here. And do a little unboxing, have you check it out. Took a little while to get here, still waiting for another one because of uh, other logistical issues. Don't know what's going on with that, but that's another story. So here we go, opening it on up. Oh, wow. That looks nice and pretty. Looks like they have it taped up for whatever reason. Uh, probably keeps slide from moving out, Mac from popping out on us. Not sure why this is all taped up, but uh, okay. That's how it arrived. Let's uh, move on to what else is in the bag. The classic, uh, for whatever reason, I guess possibly for the Toucan name, we got the pink back straps, the small, medium, large. We have the two other uh, tan back straps. I believe the large one might be on currently. This feels like the small, medium. Oh yeah, we got the large on there currently. Okay. So I was worried about my package because I did order a spare mag via a 23 rounder as well as a 50 rounder since they were the only place I could find the 50s for, the, uh, for a decent price. I'd have to look up. But yeah, KY Airsoft from Hong Kong, only place that had them. I don't know why I did the voice, my bad. So yeah. Looks nice, doesn't look damaged, looks nice and new, doesn't look used. Let's see how our 50 turned out. I'm going to try to do this in the one and done for the uh, unboxing and later put it through its steps because I'm excited to get this open, check it out. But it's also late in the day and I got other stuff that I do. Dang, that is a, that is a big boy, 50 rounder, does look nice. Base plates on there, not really scratched up, except for right on the rear, got some uh, scratch in there. I don't know when that happened, but that's cosmetic. Doesn't look like it's been worn in on the tops or anything like that, like it's been uh, sent in or something like that. So that is legit. And of course, we got the, uh, the user's manual, which probably is pretty simplistic how to put the BBs in all that, how to rack, shoot, possibly some hop up, and then we got an exploded uh, diagram of the internals, which is one thing I really wanted when I was looking for uh, possible upgrades to really make this thing reach out and touch things. So let's see, let's start off with, uh, you know, I'm going to take off the mag, or yeah, the grip mag tape off first and see how our spares slide on in there. I really want to see how it looks with that uh, 50 rounder. Man, there's some uh, extensive electrical tape-ish stuff. I would not, I don't think this is ANSI approved electrical tape for electrical wiring, but from how it feels, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, large is a pretty good fit for my hand, so I might stick with that. And one reason why I wanted to get this style was to match the real deal for training purposes. So yeah. The uh, mag that came in the grip looks nice and healthy. What I want to see is, well, bam! Look at that bad old stick right there. Hey, the clock's on with that son of a gun. That's a nice good heft to it as well. The standard, pretty good weight to it. I do not currently have the real deal out right now. Did not think about that. I am noticing there. Huh. Might have been my for my own hands, but it looks like it's a little, a little gummed up from stuff on the base. I don't know if you can see that little gumminess and up and under here. But they uh, the company does say that wait, might have been the first company. I say it might be why it's taking so damn long. They said uh, they do a test firing, make sure it's functional before they send it out. A little QC. I don't happen to see a QC card in here like, yeah, we test fired it, so uh, don't gripe to us if it doesn't work. Um, 
so I'll have to double check on that. But yeah, a little, a little dirty, but hey, it might have been sitting for a minute. Let's get this last, last little bit of a tape off so you can see it properly. I went for the tan because mine is not dual tone, so of course I want to be able to distinguish the real deal from the uh, airsoft. Oh, that is a smooth action, of course. Locks back with the magazine. Nice. Oh, that is crisp. I like that. Okay. Did have a momentary hang up. Might have been because I was not holding it wonderfully. And for y'all to know, to uh, drop the mag, line up, I mean, drop the mag, my bad. Take off the slide. You have the little uh, pivot right here. And then it comes off like that. So it does look pretty good internally. I should say good. Um, I don't really see much signs of wear. A little bit of the paint, you know, not all the way on there. Maybe from test firing. It is pretty dry, so if you get yours, you might want to put some uh, silicone oil. And same with these internals. Looks like a little bit of wear in the back. A little wear. Uh, I believe that's the hop-up unit in here. Slight scratching on here, so I really hope this wasn't a, a return, lightly used return or something like that. But, you know, that could be just paranoia where they, uh, you know, did the test firing. So, let's put that back in. I don't want to mess with it internally too much since we did just get it. I don't want to affect the uh, testing. I mean, okay, so either that, shoot. I do a little finagling. So I don't know if the spring is supposed to mount up top like that. Or if it's rotated around. Okay, I was right the first time. Oh, wait, yes. No, there's a hole in there. So yeah, that uh, there's a little hole. I guess I should show you. A little pin here. A little hole in the front to keep it from wiggling out so it is a one one way attachment into this location so it hangs up a little like that but yeah i'll have to try out the hop up in a bit got my silicone oil so i'll do a little little dab on the internals get nice and lubed up hopefully i reduce that looks of wear and it is an air gun, so don't have to worry about using too much because that will you know, blow out, dry it, or not dry out, but uh, get worn out, leak out, and then just wipe off the excess. Make sure it's nice and functional. And then we just line it back up with the tongs. Pull it back. In the original, actually, this would drop down when you slide it back like that, but there we go. That even feels a bit better now since it's all nice and moved up. And of course, shipping to the States, they automatically put on the, the tip. I might plan on not doing a bad mod of taking it off, but I believe there are internal threads, so then you can pop on an adapter. I do recommend, well... If you have it at home using it in the backyard, especially the backyard and stuff like that where others might see it, believe it's real, whatever. Oh, well, what the heck is... Uh, I think that might be two-tone metal. I saw it internally, but it looked like, the, yeah, the black paint was all scratched off right there. I noticed that before. <clears throat> but, get all that. Oh, I caught my paper towel up in here. Let me get that out. There we go. Wish I had a silicone rag instead of just pick out, getting all that loopy excess out. And that helps with uh, getting those o rings internally. Should have done a little drop in the feed nozzle, but that's okay. So we'll take care of that with the mag. And since both of them were gas mags versus CO2, I don't have any proper green gas, but as like we all know, this is the same thing without perfumes and the silicone oil added. So of course we got to add our own silicone. 
I was previously using this red one. I don't know the brand. I've had it for as long as I've had the M11, so probably 10, 11 years. Something like that. It's my bad I was off camera. This red one, I had to add another O-ring internally. Swapped out an O-ring in here. It was leaking pretty bad out of this point. I'll fill in. Um, so that was one issue when I was doing the mod for the KWA. I wasn't sure if the bottom fill nozzle was leaking or if it was the actual fill spout itself. Got this one just recently. This uh, Vulcan metal. I tried it out on the M11. It looks like either it has issues still with the fill valve or this is a straight from the factory from the manufacturer or the distributor being crap so this will be a perfect test because i did not have any other green gas mags other than the m11s and there's some loud people outside so <clears throat> using propane so put some up in here so that way once we inject, it's going to blow the silicone into the mag and mix as it fills. So it will help lubricate all of our O-rings and all that just like regular green gas. Since that is 100% silicone oil, many others recommend this style. So, and I also have seen people do it this style as well, just to make sure it gets injected put some on the top and then boop, there we go just so that you know when people are like oh you're gonna ruin a mag it doesn't have any oil in it yeah this is these are gonna have plenty of oil and i do this every time i fill them just make sure they're fully lubricated even add a little drop down here In the fill valve so we know that we are getting silicone up in there here we go one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand seven eight nine and ten i think uh some brands were like do the five second fill like there's fancy valves are supposed to you know suck up that stuff I'm going to have to double check on the recommended fill length. I remember one said 30 seconds, so this other said 5. I'm going to try to do just uh, 10 seconds, so you don't want to freeze the uh, O-rings internally and all that stuff. I'm going to give a little drop in here for that first round going in, and a little bit in here. That way when it depress, well, I guess I, what I should have done is uh, with it empty, you press add that silicone in there to get it nice and lubed up but as you can see and have been watching this is completely empty let's see how this sounds and functions Ooh, okay this will snap that is some nice freaking recoil sorry if it got loud on all you like i was saying before since we lubed it up nice on that first run we got all that excess coming out so we know that it is getting nice and lubed. And wiping down the silicone will actually probably help clean off those little boogers that we saw. Keeping that finger off the trigger. I think it'll take off that Made in Taiwan sticker. Oh, yep, of course. Do that and we got the goobers. So, you know, keep your finger off the trigger, just have it. Good practice to have. Clean that off. Alrighty, so I think I'll pause for a second and let's get some FPS readings on this. Alrighty, we're at the makeshift range. <laughs> Don't have the target fully put together, but if I go over a little, where are the, oh, there we go, there's where the camera goes. Just in case y'all are not used to the little speed loaders, pop your tip on there. I got some GNG 0.25 gram bio BBs. Pop on the uh, angle like here and then give it decent pressure. And I am failing right now. Let's see. There we go. You're lined up with the uh, 
pull, a little shake. And that was the horrible demonstration, but you get the idea. You know what, I'm just gonna load it up. You know what, yeah, let's see how much the full mag. After 10 seconds, and we already did three, did three shots with the uh, empty mag. So I get set up real quick. Alrighty, so I have the uh, Ace Tech Chrono here. It's set to 0 0.25 gram BBs. I would start with 20, work our way up, but uh, I don't have any uh, bio BBs right now, so I'm trying to save those for going to uh, to range, stuff like that. I mean, airsoft, battlefield, whatever you like to call it. You can use the bios in the backyard. So, of course, mag's loaded. Now we just got a rack in. And we're off to the races. I'll try to get a on target and so one in the chamber or the yeah velocity chamber 742 so we do have issues with the gas expanding as they say in their manual uh, be careful not to shoot the body it's 283 281 273 271 265 263 256, 249, so we're starting to lose some pressure. We only did a 10 second fill, but uh, that's not bad, 250 around there stock. So I can deal with that. I'm gonna get back a little bit and see how, uh, if it drops at all at about you know, 15, 20 feet. All right, well that was short lived. We are out of gas. Went about two thirds of a mag. I forgot to start counting them. I might have to refill and see how many are in there. There's one stuck in there, so I have to poke that out with a cleaning rod. But so far, I like it. Good blowback. One thing I will have to uh, double check on is how long you're supposed to fill them. Also, later on, I will be doing some upgrade videos. I really want my other one to arrive so I can have one stock, one upgraded so we can show the differences but until then i guess i'll leave you with that and i hope you enjoyed please like share subscribe get that algorithm going and get me motivated to make more tutorials unboxing and tips and tricks see you on the next one and for you though of those out there wondering it is roughly maybe 70 75 degrees out right now so that's about the temperature range we're working in for the gas expansion and how fast the mag gets cold when using that propane. Alrighty, thought I'd uh, end the video in a fun way. Did use 30 second fill, added more silicone to the mag, fully loaded. Also did a 30 second fill on the big old 50 round stick mag and did a 30 second fill. So I thought, hey, why not see, uh, do some mag dumps and see how many we can get through before we run out of gas. See how this bad boy runs. There's one. I wanted to get that one out of the chamber that was in me previously. So it looks like a 30 second fill will give you one mag. So you're uh, good for one mag. And it looks like you had one miss. But yeah, adding all that silicone was handy. It's spraying out it's coating everything so keep it nice and lubed so uh yeah we missed uh three short on a 30 second fill maybe try a different gas next time get some proper green gas or a different style i'm pretty sure red gas is not good for these i looked at and the mag did get decently cold so i want to warm that up before using again now let's use the big old stick boy and see if it uh go through the whole mag hopefully let's find out no it did not so this is probably kind of a waste other than uh for looks we did skip a few so i might need to use a different type of gas maybe or this is more of a for aesthetics but that is actually kind of surprising that uh 
it was only going through <clears throat> probably 23, not even that. The other mag holds 23, so maybe uh, 19, 20 BBs on a 30 second fill. So this one I'd have to count. I guess I'll we'll do it now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So not even half the mag got shot, so... 25, 33, so we got about 33 left. So that would be about 17... Went through 17. Yeah, I can do math, I think, right? Minus 2, that we're in here. So, it's about 19, so... Yeah, the small mag and the big mag Hold about the same gas and shot at the same amount but there'll be some trial and error looking up online that's one reason why i'll be doing the upgrades on this to try to get better gas seal i did realize just realized now i should have opened it up checked the seal on the piston internally see if it was loose from the factory um not screwed in all the way there's also a tip of using a o-ring or washer internally to get it more stable better seal better gas efficiency but that's for another time. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the little uh, first time demo mag dump as well. Catch you on the next one.